what to do when somebody invites you to celebrate a Nal Pixon. First thing you do is you Google it. Yes, because I had no idea what she was inviting me to. And the super fast explanation is it is the Mayan way of celebrating Dia de los Muertos. And then you say yes. But how do you get ready for such a celebration? Well, one, you Google it and you figure out what exactly is the normal thing that happens during this event. And after you do that and you get inundated with all the different things that could happen, you message the host and you say, and she'll say, you can bring drinks, flowers. For the flowers, it seems like the most popular are orange marigolds, which I couldn't find exactly, so I just kind of went with a color theme. You bring candy, sugar skulls, or calaveras, which I think calaveras actually just means skull, but either way, you bring skull candy. Oh my gosh. Then you grab scissors and you open it. And inside are tiny lollipop skulls. And these are sugar candies. Now, today is Friday, the day before Halloween, and two days before we are having the celebration of Anal Pixan. So, what happens is these look okay, but towards the back, you got a lot of broken ones. I would recommend in future to look earlier for any of these candies because you probably have a better chance of getting some that are not broken the earlier you go. And the second thing is, I believe there are actually candy stores in the local area that I could have special ordered these, which would have been epic. But of course, last minute minimalist mama, that's not how it works. So I bought like four packs of these just to get a good number of unbroken skulls. Now the beauty of having broken skulls in here is we can eat them now. So you can't tell very well, but these are hollow on the inside, okay? And it's basically just uh, sugar. Oh my gosh. It's hard, cause it's sugar. And it tastes exactly like sugar. Ridiculously sweet, and so I think this broken piece can be broken some more for me to be able to eat them. But, ooh, actually can I put this in hot tea? Now, if you know me, I'm not a huge holiday person. I don't go all out on celebrating, but because this is my very first, I now picks on. If I keep saying it over and over, will I actually perfect how I say it or simply memorize the wrong way of saying it? Wouldn't it be cool to show up at such a party with like the full face paint? Always wanted a reason to do that. But it is rainy season right now, so probably the second I left the house to get into the Uber, I would not have been pretty. So it's okay, but maybe we'll still be in Mexico next year. I have no idea. So I am not 100% sure if I'll be making any videos of the actual event because quite frankly, I don't know how the owner feels about me recording her home. And the second negative thing about recording during a literally once in a lifetime event, because again, I don't know for sure that I'll still be in Mexico next year when this happens again, but sometimes when you take time to record a special event, you are no longer part of the special event. You end up not being quite as present. And my goal on Sunday is to be really present with all the things that's happening around me, all the people, and observing the way they celebrate. So I probably will not be making a video on that, but if I do, of course, you'll see it. comments let me know what am I doing wrong cuz I'm gonna bet you I'm doing something wrong like I'm gonna show up with candy that's like too big or maybe it's too small or maybe there's a particular like I I don't even know what I'm doing wrong because I know so little about the subject even with the googling so let me know below if I'm doing something wrong I am most definitely most definitely pronouncing it wrong and now picks on and I've for the pronunciation, the Google pronunciation is Anal Pixan. But I've watched a couple of actual like YouTube videos of Spanish speaking people and they one speak crazy fast. But I definitely hear an H sound like Hanal Pixan. So let me know. H, no H, like isn't it supposed to be silent? And second thing, because Anal Pixan is a Mayan thing. That's actually its own language, so perhaps in a Mayan way of speaking, you do pronounce the H. But anyway, I'm super excited and honored that we were invited to this party because there are really no Halloween or Dia de los Muertos celebrations happening publicly here. So if you're not invited to a particular person's party, I think we're just gonna have to celebrate on our own. And like I said, I am not a huge holiday celebrator, so we would be stuck watching Halloween movies on Netflix. So how are you celebrating Dia de los Muertos?